Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. Today's video is a partnership with Honey Love Shapewear and I'm going to be reviewing and trying on their new liftwear tank. Spoiler alert, I love it. I have been wearing this tank top for seven weeks straight now. I got the tank and have not taken it off. The liftwear tank is an item that is meant to replace your bra and it's an everyday wear item. We're gonna cover three things in this video. I want to go over the details about the tank, things that you could probably Google yourself, but I'm gonna give you that information. But I'm also gonna give you information about what I personally love about the liftwear tank. And then we are going to try on a few different sizes and I'm gonna talk about what I like about each size. And I hope that information will help you pick your best size and then we will do a before and after in one of my favorite summer outfits. Before we get started with that, you can find me on Instagram at Girl Get Glamorous and on Pinterest at Molly Gardner One. And there's always more on the blog at girlgetglamorous.com, including this review of Honey Love and a few more photos. And if you click below the video on show more, the description box will drop down and there is a link to Honey Love in that description box. And also, if you find this video helpful, if you could give it a thumbs up, I would appreciate that. All right, let's get started. The liftwear tank is an undergarment that is meant to replace both your undershirt and your bra. And it comes in eight different sizes from extra small to 3XL, and it comes in three different colors. Their signature color, Vamp, which is this black crisscross with a sand lining. It comes in solid black and it comes in solid sand. And in the US, it retails for $79. I will say my cost per wear is already so low because I have been wearing this every single day and it just, it always amazes me how items like that, shapewear, jeans, workout clothes, things that you wear all the time, at first you can have a little bit of sticker shock and then I just end up wearing things until the wheels fall off. Tank is meant to be worn every single day. You can either wear it like me working from home with your sweatpants or you can wear this underneath a work blouse with trousers and jeans. The tank is absolutely wonderful for that because it has this double lining. So if you, like me, love a more rigid <laughs> cotton jean, you know how much that can just dig into your skin and by the end of the day it can hurt so badly. And what I love is that this tank really prevents any of that chafing where your skin gets you know, can get so irritated. I love the tank for that because not only does it give my clothing smoother lines, which you will see in the before and after, but it just makes them more comfortable to wear all day long as well, which I think is actually even more important than how it makes the clothing look. It just makes everything feel so much more comfortable, more so than any other undershirt, just because of that double lining. This is the Honey Love wash bag. You fold up the tank top into quarters and you can put it inside this bag and it really does help the tank maintain you know the best shape and then I lay it flat to dry I don't hang it because I don't want the straps to stretch out at all one thing I love about this tank is that it's totally flat all the pieces are bonded together and then there is stitching at the side to reinforce the side there's very flexible boning. Let me actually take this off the hanger to show you. There's a very, very flexible boning, which defines your waist and it also keeps the bra in place so that things aren't moving around. This is what I love about Honey Love is it's all in the details. At the top and the bottom of this boning, there's about a half an inch of buffer fabric so that the boning is not pushing into your underarm or pushing into your waistline. I work from home most of the time and so it really surprised me that I am actually wearing this tank top for 10 to 12 hours a day and it is so comfortable. I fell asleep last night <laughs> on the couch wearing it. That is probably the first time I think I've ever fallen asleep wearing shapewear and woken up and still been comfortable. I just wanted to share that because this little detail of sewing that extra fabric on both sides of the boning makes such a big difference. Compression wise, this is a big thing. There is that extra crisscross compression at the stomach, which I love in the shorts because it really gives you that smooth stomach, smooth lines underneath clothing. I will say in the tank, the compression is a little bit less, but I actually like that for everyday wear. I can wake up and have coffee or eat lunch and not feel super 
compressed into a garment. If you are a shapewear connoisseur <laughs> like me, you know what I mean about that compression. So I think that this is the perfect amount of compression for daily wear. I tend to wear those shorts on special occasions, under dresses. Lately, I don't know why <laughs> I've been dressing up to the grocery store. I guess that's a special occasion now. I'll wear, I'll put the superpower shorts on and then a pretty dress to go grocery shopping, you know. It is what it is. Another thing that I want to share is that on the inside of the bra is a really comfortable mesh and it's very breathable. We are in those summer temps and my gosh, it is getting hot. So I've been able to continue to wear this tank top without any issues. And the fabric holds everything in, but it is still lightweight enough for summer in my opinion. It's breathable and it is so, so stretchy. And I do appreciate that they have this extra stitching. Let me turn this inside out one more time. I think it's easier sometimes to see it from the inside out on this vamp shade where they sew that sand color on the inside. You can see that they have the stitching right here for the crisscross, but then they also have the stitching down the side and that reinforces that side seam and also the boning. One more thing I want to mention, I almost forgot to mention this. With the bra, you can see here this, there's a little tiny flap and there is modesty padding right here in the bust. It's a very thin pad. I prefer modesty padding, I, especially if you work in a place with air conditioning. I think that it's nice. It's a nice insurance policy <laughs> to have. But if you prefer to not have any padding, you can just reach in here and take the pad out. It's not hard and like I said, it's a very thin pad. The other thing I like about this is that if you want more of a push-up effect, if you are a push-up bra wearer, you could always purchase a pad that has that thicker padding at the bottom to give you that lift and put that in there. I might actually try that because I do prefer a, a little bit more of a push-up bra effect but this gives you really nice natural shaping. Other thing that I would change about this tank top is that I wish the back was all one piece. There is bonding right here and I do feel like on the smaller size it can dig in a little bit into my back and I wish that this was just all one piece and double lined like the Superpower short because the Superpower short gives me a totally smooth line at the back. Let me actually show you that. I have the shorts right here. On the Superpower short, there are just vertical and angled seams. There's no horizontal seams. And this part is gonna be harder to show you, so please just, I guess, trust me, <laughs> um, that there are two layers at the back. So I think that's why I get a little bit more compression with the shorts. That's the only thing that I would change about the tank is I would just like to see that double lining that's at the front also on the back. I wore this doing makeup and the bra really did stay in place. The only thing I would say, sometimes I find myself pushing these up a little bit more on my shoulders and that is kind of a nice transition into sizing actually. So this is the XL that I'm wearing right now. I've been going back and forth between the large and the extra large. For reference, I am typically a size 10 or 12 on the top, but I'm also petite, meaning that the distance from my shoulders to my waist is a little bit shorter than the average woman. And on the bottom, I wear a woman's 12 to 14, and that is standard sizing, not petite or not tall. Let's do the try on now so you can see both sizes and then we will do the before and after. My recommendation if you're trying to figure out your size, if you're on the Honey's Love website looking at their size chart, trying to figure it all out, is that if you are standing and moving around, it might be nicer to actually have a little bit more compression. So I would go for the size large. I definitely feel like the bust fits me a little bit better on the size large but the XL is so comfortable. And that is truly the one that I find myself reaching for every single day when I'm working from home. And sometimes when I put it on first thing in the morning, I will feel a little bit of compression, but as the day goes on, it just feels like a light hug and it's incredibly comfortable. And the only, so the only thing with the XL is that I notice that I do occasionally have to just move the straps up a little bit more and that's it. The last thing I wanna mention on sizing is that the tank will stretch out just a teeny bit the first and second time you wear it. And then from that point on, it really holds its shape. If you put it on and, you, and it feels a tiny bit snug, you will probably be okay. If it feels way too tight, I would definitely recommend sizing up. Or if it already feels kind of loose, maybe size down. Dun, 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 before and after. <laughs> 
So this is one of my favorite outfits. These are 100% cotton shorts. If you wear 100% cotton denim, you know how sometimes when you move, your skin can go over the edge of the denim because the denim has no give. There's no spandex in it. But I do find these shorts very comfortable to wear still. And this is one of my favorite shirts that, again, another item that I have worn until the wheels fall off. <laughs> it's one of my favorite old chambray shirts. This is one of my favorite summertime outfits. And I love in how both the large and the XL sizes you can see how it really gives me a nice smooth look at the waistband. There isn't that skin pushing over the edge of the denim. It just gives you a really nice smooth appearance from the front and the back. And as far as the bra goes, I think it's a really comfortable natural looking shape. And like I mentioned, I might put in a more uplifting pad to get more of a push up effect. But overall, I just think we have a winner. We have another winner from Honey Love. I hope that this review was helpful and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And I know sometimes with shapewear, people don't wanna ask publicly, so you can always DM me and I will try my best to answer. And if I can't, I'll send you to Honey Love, okay? Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.